calcitonin. So here's the structure of calcitonin. You see the amino acids. Here is a comic that I found. Please don't criticize me, Mr. Paget. So calcitonin is a hormone, and it has um, d several different roles. Its main role, though, is to regulate the amount of calcium in the and phosphate in the blood. Um, and in terms of calcium, which is, um, you know, more high, I mean, more, you know, in terms of calcium regulation, it um, it decreases calcium ion, like the, the amount of calcium ion that's reabsorbed into the kidneys, therefore um, decreasing the amount of calcium in the blood. And it also um, inhibits the activity of what are called osteoclasts, which basically are responsible for, responsible for uh, breaking down um, bone and releasing therefore, um, calcium into the blood, so it inhibits these and therefore, you know, um, decreases calcium in the blood. And it also may also, uh, it may, uh, inhibit gastric acid secretion, um, in rats, at least, you know, according to this experiment. Um, and, uh, it's found, like, we can tell that it might have a role in this because it's found in parts of the brain that manage gastrointestinal stuff. Um, and it's created and stored in the thyroid gland, which is, you know, in our, near our throat. And it's produced in by cells called C cells that are in the thyroid gland or parafollicular cells. Um, and it's uh, made through the cleavage of a different, more complicated uh, peptide um, and coded for by many different genes, including Calc1. Um, here are parathyroid, uh, par sorry, parafollicular cells. Um, you can see them here. Okay, so how is calcium controlled? It's, you know, most pro the pro most prominent factor we already said was the levels of calcium in the blood. Um, and uh, it's also, I mean, in terms of how it's secreted, it's secreted by C cells. And, and the interesting thing is estrogen uh, regulate may regulate um, calcitonin, calcitonin secretion. Um, because, you know, you, you see that women, because they have more estrogen, they have, they may have less calcitonin in the blood than men, um, and therefore, like, uh, they're more susceptible to osteoporosis. Uh, moreover, PTH, or parathyroid hormone, does the opposite of um, calcitonin and therefore um, counteracts its effects. Here's a diagram of what we just described. Um... And here's another one, and you can see the um, role of the kidney in this. So calcitonin is actually just one molecule in the calcitonin gene family. Also very related to calcitonin are the molecules CGRP, or calcitonin gene-related peptide, and the hormones amylin, adrenomedulin, and intermedin. And we'll talk mostly about calcitonin, but CGRP is also very important. Its function is that it does basically the same thing as calcitonin. It regulates osmotic balance and calcium metabolism. But in mammals, it only kicks in when calcium levels are above their physiolog physiological normal levels. And invertebrates don't even have calcitonin, so they rely completely on CGRP. And whether you get the calcitonin or the CGRP just depends on how the calcitonin gene is spliced. So one very important protein to the calcitonin gene family is the CLR, or calcitonin receptor-like receptor. And it's really cool. So depending on what ramp or receptor activity modifying protein it binds to, it becomes a certain kind of receptor. So if it binds to ramp 1, it becomes a CGRP receptor. If it binds to ramp 2, it becomes an adrenomedulin receptor. And if it binds to ramp 3, actually something that it does that's really cool is it will become a dual receptor that binds both CGRP and adrenomedulin. So the calcitonin receptor is called the CTR, and here's its structure, and here's a diagram showing the basic transduction pathway for a variety of hormones, all the ones on this list. So if we want to make the diagram more specific, this hormone is calcitonin, the receptor is a CTR, and the G proteins are GS and GQ. And calcitonin raises the amount of cyclic AMP in bone reabsorbing osteoclasts. So CTR is not only found in your kidney cells and in the osteoclasts and bones, but it's also found in the brain. And it's found in lots of places in the brain. And some places where it's highly concentrated are the nucleus accumbens, the arcuate nucleus, 
and the nucleus of the solitary tract. So this is the CGRP receptor. As you can see, CGRP sometimes acts as a neurotransmitter, and you can see it on the presynaptic um, neuron, and then it gets released into the synapse, and then it goes to the other neuron. And CGRP is very important because it's involved in the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous systems. So it helps control the dilation and contraction of blood vessels, altering blood pressure and heart rate. It's also related to plasticity. So in uh, relation to diseases, we already talked about osteoporosis. So calcitonin, because it inhibits um, osteoclasts, it can be administered synthetically um, to treat osteoporosis. And it can also be uh, used to treat hypercalcemia, which is basically um, high levels of calcium in the blood. And Paget's disease, you know, to avoid awkwardness, um, I'm just going to skip over that one. Mr. Paget, but basically it causes um, the excessive breakdown and creation of bone. Um, and so, uh, you know, high calcitonin concentration, interestingly enough, um, can be a, an indicator of this certain sort of um, cancer called medullary uh, thyroid carcinoma, um, the cancer of the parafollicular cells. Um, and it, the cancer itself leads to uh, secretion of high levels of calcitonin. Thank you.